Hello, 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 and welcome to Courageously Kind. I'm Maddie. And I'm Liz. We're twin sisters and best friends. Together, we share stories of especially kind humans doing especially kind things in hopes that these conversations motivate and inspire you to be kinder to yourself and others. When we're not speaking with an incredible guest, we'll speak directly from our hearts about what it means to us to be courageously kind. Well, hello. Hello. We had plans to make, um, like our usual content, educational, informative um, content. And then life had other plans. (laughs) Um, Liz has a cold right now. And I am getting her cold. I can just feel it's coming. It's It's kind of inevitable when you live together and do everything together. Um, One of us gets cold and then she's like, Yeah. 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 It's not COVID, thank God. No, we both were tested for COVID and it's not COVID. We both sort of had little, like, cold like symptoms. So we're we're like, like, We should go get tested. Um, And it's not COVID. So that's good. Yeah. Um, just the common cold. Yeah. You know, it's funny because we, last year, like, we were not around people. Our school was remote. We wore masks. And I didn't get a cold at all last yeah. year. Yeah. So now it's kind of like, oh, bummer. Got a cold. Yeah. But maybe that's a sign that we're getting back to normal life, you know? I get a cold, like, every fall or winter. Mm-hmm. So. Feel free to roll. I'm like, oh, Okay. There's the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I could do without it. Yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't need it, but... I think we could be normal without the cold. Right. <laughs> anyways. So anyways, our plans to do a informative, educational, activist-type video um, did not did not go to plan. But we're going to talk about something important this week. Very important. We're going to talk about rest. Uh, this podcast is actually going to be an ASMR video that you can listen to while to you're fall falling asleep. asleep. Too. I'm just kidding. But we're going to talk about rest today and drinking some tea. And we think it is just so important and so not talked about. So let's dive right in. I think we, as a culture right now do not prioritize rest as much as we should you know we hear all the stories of people working non-stop grinding 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 if you want something you have to work 24 7 for it um and that sort of frame of mind is not necessarily like a sustainable one if that makes Ooh. sense so i was chatting with a friend this morning who was actually a guest on our podcast. Mm -hmm. You can guess who it was. But she talked about the importance of taking days to, like, I'm trying to think of how she phrased it, like, intentionally be unproductive. Mm. Because she knows she has a few days coming up that she's going to need to be very productive, and she wants to save that energy for when she needs it. I love that. I I struggle a lot with being unproductive. Mm -hmm. I think I base a lot of my worth and how valuable I am based on what I get done that day Mm -hmm. and what I accomplish. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's something that I need to work on. But we're here to tell you that the lies you tell yourself about how worthy you are based on how productive you are are not true. Yeah. You are worthy and you are valuable and you are enough. Regardless of what you get accomplished that yes. day. Yeah. It's an accomplishment, honestly, just to like take care of yourself. Yes. And be alive. That's so important. If you take like a self care day and you say all I'm going to focus on is like take care of what needs to be taken care of, because you need to be taken care of. Yeah remember that Mm -hmm. that is so valuable that's so productive and I love what our friend was saying about you know nurture yourself Mm -hmm. so that you can go into the days where you have to be really productive Mm -hmm. 
and you can go into them giving 110%. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes rest is the most productive thing you do because rest can help prevent burnout. If you feel yourself starting to get really stressed, really check in with yourself and maybe instead of working really hard, you need to kind of pump the brakes a little bit and take a break and take some time for yourself. That time is valid and that time will help you be more productive in the long run. Yeah. And you can still be a hardworking person or a motivated person. And, you know, if you love to be productive, you know, you can still have all of that Mm -hmm. and take time for yourself to rest. Absolutely. I think we think of rest as just, like, sleep. And sleep is so important. Yes. And we don't talk about how beneficial sleep is. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, how many times you say, like, oh, I didn't get any sleep last night. I was out working all night. And we applaud people for putting themselves on the back burner. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get burned out. Yeah. Yeah. You forget that pot's back there. Exactly. And all of a sudden, it's like, why do I feel so terrible? Yeah. Maybe it's because you haven't been taking adequate time and adequate rest. Rest looks different for everybody. Sleep alone is not just rest, mm-hmm. I would say. You know what I mean? Like, you can, and I've experienced this lately, I've been sleeping pretty well but I don't feel rested. Mm, mm-hmm. So making sure I carve out that time in my day to relax and yeah. to let my mind and my body rest when I'm not sleeping mm-hmm. has been really important. And think about it this way. If you take time out of your day to kind of reset and recharge in addition to sleeping, you get to enjoy how good you feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you're asleep, you don't get to enjoy it. True. I never thought about that. You know, so take that time in the morning or before you go to bed to just sit back and relax, even if it's just a couple minutes. Yeah. You know, if you're working at 9 to 5, you know, just take two seconds and close your eyes and just take a couple breaths. It's so worth it. Yeah. Now, a little bit about where, where we're at right now. Um, we're in college. It's been stressful. It's been physically stressful. It's been emotionally stressful. We just finished our midterm. Yeah. Our mid-year exam. Just finished. And that was stressful. Yeah. So prioritizing rest has been really important. And even just like living, even just living in like COVID times has been stressful. Yeah. So learning how, like learning what feels best in terms of rest has been really important. Yeah. I don't think we give ourselves enough credit for literally just existing Yeah. during this time. You know, yeah. so many things are going on. You know, you look at the news, and I don't know about you, but my stress meter just... Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so... Taking that time to turn the news off, put your work away, Mm -hmm. and notice what you're feeling, what you're thinking about, giving yourself that time is so, so valuable. It's so courageous to say, you know what, I need to take care of myself. Yeah. Absolutely. And then you can take care of other people. Yeah, if you're not taking care of yourself first... You know, how how can you give your all or give your best to the people you care about? Yeah. You know, I know some of the days when I didn't get a lot of sleep, I haven't been giving myself, you know, self-care, good rest. I'm not as quickly inclined to be kind to other people. Mm-hmm. I'm more irritable. Mm-hmm. I am always focused on me and what I need to do Mm -hmm. that I forget how to be courageously kind. Yeah. Yeah. So, what does rest look like for us? Mm -hmm. Um, I think 
it's important to know that like rest and self-care and all of these things are kind of like a trial and error period some things that are going to be restful and relaxing for some people don't work for other people so you know i would encourage you to to just explore what what feels best for you yeah and what gives you good quality rest yeah you know sometimes meditation feels great Mm -hmm. and other times it doesn't you know other times it, it it feels you know, overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Especially when I have a cold. Yeah. And you can't really breathe yeah. well through yeah. your nose and you have to breathe through your nose. It can be hard and frustrating. frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not really restful. Right. You know, if you're frustrated about your self care, maybe that's not the right method of self care you need. Absolutely. Absolutely. So try things out. See what works. Um, you know, yoga and meditation are great. I love them, but they don't work all the time for me. So, and don't get frustrated if it doesn't work. Um, try new things, come back to it when you're feeling differently, different day, different time can really make a difference. Keep an open mind about what your self-care looks like. Yeah. Setting boundaries is also a huge form of self-care and can be beneficial to your rest. Setting work boundaries, school boundaries, personal boundaries. Um, for example, I, I love sleep and my routine before bed is really important to me. Yeah. I sleep best when I do that routine and complete that routine and just keep things regular and normal. Um, so part of a a huge boundary that I have is I don't commit to things that happen after like 9 (laughs) p.m. Now, obviously this is not perfect. Obviously sometimes you're going to have an event or something that runs late or that starts and and ends at, you know, 9.30 or whatever. But going to bed early is huge for me. Yeah? Yeah. And for other people... Going to bed is a really hard thing, mm-hmm. you know, and just getting some sleep at all is an accomplishment. Mm-hmm. So do not compare what you need to what other people need. That's a good one. You know? Yeah. Don't compare. Yeah. Don't worry about them. Yeah. Worry about yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So in lieu of the theme of today's episode rest um we're not going to keep you for too much longer so you can maybe spend some of your day resting and relaxing there you go or use this video to rest yeah like i have to listen to this podcast yeah so i'm gonna stop everything that i'm doing take some rest take some rest sure sure and listen to my favorite podcast But before you leave, we are going to share a good news story. Our good news story this week comes from the Today Show, and it's a really sweet story about a boy named Michael Richardson, who is from Massachusetts, and he did this thing where he made signs that had, like, positive, encouraging messages on them and held them out in front of his house by, like, this busy street so that people could see it on their morning commute. That's so precious. Isn't that precious? That's so sweet. And what I love about the story is that his parents are both teachers, so they would leave very early in the morning, and they had no idea that he was doing this. He kept it to himself, and it was just something that he did every day, and I think that is so sweet. Isn't that sweet? (sighs) He said something along the lines of, like, when you start your day off with something good, the rest of your day will be good. And I just love that. Yeah, I totally agree, Michael. Yeah, we do agree. So our kindness challenge this week is to do something for someone else to show kindness and don't tell anyone. Now, it's, it's sometimes we want to share the things that we do, the the kind things that we do. We want to share those with others. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage to be kind. Absolutely. And we need to celebrate our courage when we 
take that step to be kind to somebody else. Absolutely. But this week, we are asking you to go incognito and do something kind for someone. And don't tell anyone. You can still celebrate your courage inwardly. You know, maybe write down a journal if you want. But sometimes the deepest kindness comes when we're not looking for any reward or any praise or anything like that. Incognito, I love it. <laughs> Super spy. So courageously kind is incognito kind. <laughs> incognito <laughs> kind. Um, all right, everybody, have a great week. Get some good quality rest. I will see you back here real soon. Bye. We'd like to give a huge thank you to Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting for their support of Courageously Kind. Anna Waltz is a family-owned landscape contracting company in Berks County that has served Pennsylvania for over 35 years. If you're ready to get your landscaping project started, visit Anna Waltz landscape.com or call 610-916-7070. Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting, beautifying Pennsylvania one yard at a time. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this episode, feel free to share it with your friends, your family, or anyone you think might like it too. And if you want to support the show, leave us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It really does help. Or check out our merch store at courageouslykind.org. Take good care, and we'll see you back here real soon.